You're listening to Polymatic.media, episode 57 for May 5th, 2019. Welcome to the Polymatic cast. Hey, John, how's it going? Uh, I think we're in the end game now, right? <laughs> Can you even hear me? <laughs> I do, right? I, well, I didn't hear whatever that noise was if you were making some. But I do hear you. If, for those who uh, didn't clue in, we'll see how long John edits that out. He went silent on me. And I was just staring at him like, yeah, okay, you going to talk, dude? <laughs> no, no, I, I said we're in the end game now. And then uh, he didn't reply. So I was like, oh, oh I didn't hear. I, you know what? I brought your Skype on this side down a little too much. So I didn't hear you. Uh huh. <laughs> did you, uh, did you wait? To the fourth hour to see the last little tidbit on the the credit. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, um, are we going to let's spoilers? just spoil the the end of the credits? There is no end credits, so you don't have to sit till the end. Just you know, there's nothing there. There's nothing there to watch. Uh, there's there's something, but it's not like a big old stinger because. It's the end of the Avenger series movies until like 20 uh, years when yeah. they reboot it and do it again. Um, or maybe with today's days, maybe 10 years. <laughs> Depends yeah. when the when the, the license holders get greedy again. Yeah. So, um, so anyhow, yeah, so we're going to talk about Endgame. But um, um, I don't know. Are we going to do spoiler territory or what's the deal there? Maybe what we should do is just before we jump into spoilers, we should just uh, have some other discussions and then uh, then move over to Endgame or something. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. So what's been yeah. going on? So um, I had some fun with my Nokia phone this week. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, yeah. It uh, decided to, um, well, decided Endgame? to stop working. <laughs> yes. Yes, definitely. Yeah. It got snapped. Yeah. Um, so the problem was uh, it got security security update and then it started in a boot loop, and then um, it uh, it said uh, I I don't know anymore, and then it's a download mode. That was, was that the Android One phone? Yep. Mm. So I got myself a new uh, Motorola G7 Play, which is like the cheapest version. It's like 150 bucks. Okay, it's, it's but really it's not nice an phone. Android. It's, it's not it's an really Android One or anything. No, it's just Android. Yeah, it's got the um, nine something on it. So, oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. It's actually a pre- pretty recent phone. It just um, you know, it's a, it's pretty okay. I th- I think uh, I bought a little cover for it so it doesn't get damaged and so I can resell it later or give it to somebody else if uh, as soon as my phone is uh, has mm-hmm. been returned from repair. Yeah, they say they're gonna be able to repair it, but I have no idea that they're. I don't think that they're gonna do that. I think I'm gonna go, uh, and I'm gonna come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, we can't uh, repair it, and then they give me some sort of bad version or, or different phone to to replace it. And I'm like, yep, that's what they did to a colleague of mine. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, on on inexpensive like phones like that, because they're not that much, right? The Android one phones are intended to be uh low well, cost the the nokia was like a 350 for oh okay bucks. so maybe yeah. it was more yeah well now um, now you can get it for like 250 bucks but i mean originally i was thinking about getting my mother a cell phone but then i'm like really it, that's more for me than it is for her it's more of like her being able to get a hold of me in an emergency kind of scenario hmm. which is not something she's very effective at doing um but then, you know, it adds a layer of parents and technology complication because there's a huge age gap there, um, you know, with technology. So, um, well, d- don't get them a, an Android One phone. Right. And so <laughs> you had said, Android One, oh, this thing is great. And yeah, this it was great. It, I got security updates every month. It was wonderful. And then so it, they, they messed one. up the security update. Yep. Till it died. There's not much you can do about that. Well, they could do something about it, just not me. Yeah. Um, and up until that point, it was great. Then yeah, I, I mean, then I, I researched I, it, and there are lots of people that have this problem. So, yeah. Yeah, that that's not good. Um, I generally don't have cell phone woes anymore since I sort of went to this, um, you know, carrier specific, but like not carrier less. 
It's like an unlock, but it's really just on, on Google's. And they uh, they said they would keep their hands off mucking around with the phones, and they did. And uh, it, the, the, the phones are great. Um, it's just when they you add the carrier icing all over it that you don't want. And, hmm. you know, you're diabetic to that whole problem. And uh, that historically, at least in the U.S., has been what has been killing phones quicker. Um, yeah. My my first Pixel would have lasted, and I was going to replace it with a Pixel 3, though Pixel 2 is fine um, because, it, you know, it happened like September of last year where it was. Pixel 3 wasn't out. You know, that's why I bought it. Um you know, as as a replacement, and um, the Pixel One was fine. It would have lasted me. I mean, I would have bought the Pixel Three as a replacement in October, but it would have lasted me pretty positive. It would have lasted me all the way up to now, yeah. um, because it didn't have that extra junk on it. Right, yeah. which is exactly the the whole point of something like Android One. Well, and it's usually the junk that, that slows everything junk. down, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's what burns up your batteries. And uh, when someone spends the time and energy and the conspiracy on it, there's always certain certain apps that have to run apparently on certain carriers. That uh, when they get their update around your 16 month time period around your 14 month time period they always get a little update and that little update starts to burn through your battery significantly um, because it consumes an extra percentage of power and uh, yeah and, and so it dies. And, and I've had multiple carriers here in the US and they all seem to have that same little problem um, so I mean whether it's an actual correlation to a, a conspiracy they have there I don't know but I've observe this over uh, nearly 20 years of having cell phones. So um, I don't have a problem with this thing. doesn't have that. doesn't have those kind of updates. The only updates it gets is just to Android updates. Yeah. So it's been well, fine. I, what I think is what, what happened is that they, uh, they had a security update for Android 1 mm -hmm. and then they decided to not test it and just release it. Yeah. Assume that it was good, and then um, that's a bad assumption. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, okay. So that sucks. Sorry, dude. But you bought yourself a new toy, sort of. Nah, I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't planning on buying this. I was gonna put some money away for the uh, new laptop and stuff. But uh, yeah, this kind of bites. So yeah. Yeah, I um. I'm still holding on to uh, some a small surplus of cash, so um, probably next did, did week. Did you get I'm your camera yet? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna buy the camera body next week. Oh, nice. Well, I I um, what I did is I bought ahead of time. I bought a cage and uh, at least a couple accessories. Uh, I bought a um, I want to say either a one one point four f stop or one point eight f stop uh, fifty mil prime. Um, I'd have to go look up what I did is upstairs, but, um, but regardless of that, I, uh, I, you know, I bought some lens, uh, I'm, I also bought a, um, adapter mount from Canon to Sony. Okay. From Sigma. Um, and, uh, comes with a USB cable. What? Because you can update its firmware and its com compatibility between, um, you know, adapting, converting the lenses. Okay, so that's kind of neat. And uh, what I, what I find out because I was talking to Todd, we were in a conversation. Uh, we did this patron only podcast uh, that I'm calling after the show. We were in a conversation. And he was telling me that you know, well, the problem with some of these Sigmas for some of these lenses, they're not the highest compatibility. And he sort of interjected that before I was about to tell them, tell him, oh yeah, well the adapter and the newer newer lens that are coming from Sigma, especially the more expensive ones, all have US, you can get a USB dock where you can reprogram them to be higher compatible with okay. uh, the, the cameras. So uh, I got a 50 mil 1.8 with stabilization built in uh, prime lens. Um, and uh, so with that converter mount, I'll be able to take the one from my other camera 
I mean, it's obviously older than the camera itself. Um, and that should get me into uh, a little bit more uh, lens options and then maybe in a, you know, somewhere near future or maybe when I do the the thing next week, maybe I uh, spend a little bit extra money and I buy, I had sort of bookmarked a couple lenses. So okay. I'm going to get a bunch of things and uh, this will be good. Yeah. It will be good. Okay, before we start doing uh, doing endgame stuff. Yeah. Um, should we do the fun stuff first? You want to do fun stuff? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll start. <laughs> yeah, you might as well because I don't have uh, I don't have trail up. Okay. So the first one is uh, Science of Minecraft. It's an older video shot by Shoddycast. He does this uh, these videos where, uh, where he opens a Google Doc and says, "Hello, it's me." Austin and then you know he goes into his spiel about you know uh, some weird thing in a game and tries to figure out if it actually could happen and stuff um, mm -hmm. it's actually pretty funny uh, so he does that for lots of RP games and stuff like that it's pretty funny uh, Paul Mac link slash PX for that cool um, I, I guess I got two I have uh, I have one and then I have something for music but uh, so there was a guy I I don't know, in the last couple of weeks or so, I think the algorithm pushed it on me and uh, I, you know, sort of became aware of uh, someone named Gerald Undone. Um, he's a guy who kind of deep dives into details on various things, definitely when it comes to photography, videography, you know, the details. So this one was a, a pretty good one, um, sort of a, a large discussion about, a slightly more descriptive discussion about uh, depth of field when you're talking about, like, cameras and videography. Uh, polymatic.link slash PY. Uh, I recommend, highly recommend you... Um, you subscribe to his channel. Uh, he's got a lot of good information. Uh, and more importantly, even with topics that are already new, um, he does a very good job of covering those topics in detail for those who are not experts and those who for that are. Um, certainly, I'm sure that I've learned something from him. But, uh, you know, when it comes to like a review or something or checking quality, being unbiased, yeah, this guy's pretty good. The only thing that irritates me is his opening where he does this little thing, Gerald Dunn, he's crazy. That that part, the little crazy part, yep. drives me nuts. Well, it's and, a little and stupid. The, and the part where he says uh, that people have to go walk away or something or some, something like that was really weird. Yeah, I don't know. He's a, that hmm. part of his opening is a little strange. Everything else is perfectly fine. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I uh, one a new favorite, um, and then for music, uh, this is just sort of this guy is more of like an a musician's musician. Um, his videos are all very interesting. They're all very choreographed. Some of them are just done through his editing effort, and some of them are done with like like with stage hands there's like an older video of his where he's doing something and the whole environment is moving around him um well, as he's playing his his original songs jacob collier uh this song is called hideaway uh it's very interesting uh all the stuff that he is doing is very interesting um polymatic.link slash pz um and i think he just recently won some uh jazz award or something so, uh, I don't know. This might not be someone if you're looking for sort of a vapid, you know, upbeat song, um, which is, you know, the kind of style of music I was complaining about before we we were officially recording the show. <laughs> um, but uh, though with that said, I like that stuff too. You know, yeah. there's some you, of my you favorite artists that are, are releasing things today, uh, even in May and even like on Friday. And uh, while one of them is more... It's not vapid. It's just it's more like chorus hook pattern instead of more substance and stuff like that. So um, looks like the bot he got uh, hold of uh, Wheezy Waiter's uh, cloning machine. Oh yeah, no, no. Well, in this case, yeah. But he does things like this every once in a while. It's pretty interesting. He did another video with. Uh, I mean, the way I dis oh, you know, I didn't discover him through the algorithm. I discovered him through uh, Doty Clark. Um, cause she had released some behind the scenes thing that she was doing where she was sort of punches on in into, in frame, does a little thing, then hops on out. 
and um, they took those various things over a long day, and uh, they made a, a, a Beatles cover uh, that was really interesting. And where there, there's just the two of them uh, are in everywhere playing together. Mm. And so he clearly has gotten this technique down because you can see that he has figured out how to do this really well um, in a lot of his other videos. Uh, Hideaway is a perfect example. But the easy example of Hideaway is it's a controlled, closed environment. So you can control consistent lighting where when him and Dodie were outside, I was looking for lighting artifacts, right? Like sun rolling over or uh, getting to, you know, the day was, you know, it was getting brighter or whatever. But I guess, you know, they're in England. So England's apparently all overcast all the time. <laughs> yeah, rain, 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 rain. Yeah, yeah. So maybe, maybe that's why it worked out so well. So anyhow, there you go. There's my recommendations. Um, and okay. I did watch your uh, Minecraft video. It's funny. Uh, 9.1 uh, kilometer, whatever it was. I was watching all the sides. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. So, Endgame spoilers. Dun, well, dun, dun. Well, Endgame, basically. Do you want me to endgame. play uh, Bernhard's spoiler music? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Now, um, so, I went and saw it at the first showing in the Netherlands which was on Tuesday evening um yeah uh midnight so it was officially Wednesday when it started but you know when did I see it I saw it um after we were done recording on maybe it was Sunday yeah it had been because it was opening weekend last weekend yeah um and so I noticed that Matt was sort of hanging around a little bit he was hesitating not to leave just yet, and uh, and then he he's like, "I'm going to use the bathroom, but right back." And then I said, "Then I looked at him. <laughs> I had a discussion with my roommate, and I said, "All right, the answer to the question is yes, as long as it's not too late, and I don't I get back before one a.m." And then Matt <laughs> pops on out. I go, "The answer to the question is yes," and I just re- like repeated the same thing, and he's like. Like, he acted surprised. Like, that's not what he was thinking. <laughs> but he was, his brain would have, pro- maybe I just was sort of like, you know, you, you were around people well enough, you kind of know where they're going to go, whether they've come to that conclusion yet. Maybe that's what part of that was in my brain. But I was like, yeah, all right. But, you know, this is what, a three, three and a half hour movie? Do, do you it's see, a long movie. You, you saw Infinity War, right? I did see Infinity War. I didn't see Captain Marvel. Even though that did not oh, okay. hinder me from understanding what was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she wasn't in the movie much. Though. She was in it. She it's plays vital much. components of it, but she is not instrumental in the the whole story of the movie. Yeah, she's a a functional piece of it, like everybody else. Uh, so it's kind of the end, right? So we, I been to every marvel movie like in cinema and and seen every one of them except mm-hmm. for the hulk movies because they were on i got them yeah on DVD. i um maybe it was infinity war was the only one i didn't see of the avengers movies in the theater i didn't see the hawk ones either i just sort of didn't like that franchise before it became an mcu official the movie uh the hulk never okay, in, yeah, yeah. yeah the hawk hulk hulk with the u l k uh, Hulk. Um, Hulk smash. Yeah, exactly. And I think, because I don't think they were doing anything good with his character until this movie. Well, and they, they the got, Ragnarok movie. Well, right? the, the Incredible Hulk was basically after they started doing the MCU, right? Mm-hmm. They, they, they did the... Um, well, they had the, a couple... The cameo for... Right, they, uh, they had a couple F-ups on it. Um, this was like when Marvel was doing like what DC was doing, they were just selling out to who, whatever movie franchise wanted to own it. And they were just making money until they just said, uh, Marvel made an, a conscious decision somewhere as before this got well out of hand. Um, I mean, it was already out of hand with Spider-Man, yeah. for example, but before Reason it got well out of hand, they decided to take some ownership of this. 
and um, took that risk. And then they created, they started with uh, what the Thor movie, right? And they, we didn't know this at the time. You and I were in San Francisco. We were watching Thor um, right think, across th- the way. I think you watched Iron Man 2. Oh, Iron Man. Iron Man was the start of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Iron Man was the start. No, we watched Thor. I remember. Henry was with us. Um, that, that was Iron Man 3, by the way. No. No, no, no. You and I might have seen Iron Man 3 together. I saw Iron Man 3 in the theater. But no, it was totally, when we were in San Francisco, it was totally Thor. Um, so, anyhow, without getting into that argument over the details of that. I'm looking Gordon, it up right now. <laughs> uh, start an Iron Man. And, um, and Iron Man was, I guess, the start of it, which did really well on its own. Then they eventually made three, you know, they made a total of three of those Iron Man movies. Um, but along that course, they also started to put out other movies. And Hulk came in there somewhere. And it, maybe that was the best of those three because the first two were just kind of bad. And the first one I saw parts of and I was like, I'm out. And then... Um, then I was discouraged from seeing a second one of those. Um, and I was already kind of uh, ramped up with the same problem with Spider-Man. The first Spider-Man was good. The second Spider-Man was a little off balance, cheesy, because that's when um, the uh, the movie you know company that owned what was going on was sort of Hollywooding it a little too much. Mm-hmm. And then they really kind of got to the point where it got really screwed up for them. They on their third, maybe I don't know. And then they rebooted it a little bit to try to refresh it, and it it didn't have any didn't have the um, the Marvel Studio owned touches to their product, right? That the the kind of care and feeding they were doing with the MCU universe. So Hall comes in there, right? Okay. I didn't even bother seeing it. I was burned out on Hulk. Hulk, I didn't find as a character incredibly um, worthy of its own movie. The story I'd seen enough, and they've kind of screwed it up. I lost my uh, faith that they could do do right by Hulk. But would would you go see the? Would you go see a new origin movie for Hulk if it was the current character and stuff? If it was the current character in the current way in Endgame, because they between Ragnarok and Endgame, uh, they did a really good job with Hulk, right? Um, and so, as it is now, which is at the end, if they had started with something like that, obviously it wouldn't have had the same kind of um, uh, impact through the MCU universe movies. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't have had the same kind of element, you know, that that Hulk participated in. Um, but I think they they uh, they saved themselves with what they did with Hulk towards the end of this whole completion of this whole franchise. Yeah, I don't think you could. Um, I am only most familiar with it from the reruns as a kid seeing the live action TV show. I never read the comic, so maybe the comic is much better as a source material. I never but, saw a TV show for the Hulk. Yeah, it, it's you know it's from like eighties, seventies, whatever. Yeah, I'm sure it was a throwaway it. TV show. From for yeah. me, by the time I saw it was reruns, um, and it wasn't on. If for me, it wasn't that being put on a major network. It was being put on one of these like side UHF local TV stations where they you know they rerun, they buy reruns for next to nothing because yeah. it's old content at that point. Um, so, um, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, they just should have had enough mishaps as far as my opinion was concerned about the uh, at least the first two movies. Maybe So, so we understand you don't movie. like the Hulk. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Thank you for pulling me off that tangent because that's it. So that's yeah. where I'm at with that. Cut most um, of that. Otherwise, Captain Marvel, I think, and then uh, I think I, like you, I'd seen basically all of them. Uh, with yeah. maybe an exception to Infinity War in the theater. Yeah. Um, when I uh, I had somebody spoil the the most of the key points of the uh, movie for me, that kind of sucked. Did that but, bother you? Mm, somewhat. It was okay. Um, I didn't... Um, I did expect them to be right. But I didn't. Oh, they made predictions. <laughs> no, they said you know, 
they basically knew what was gonna happen so they uh, kind of spoiled it for me kind of sucked guy yeah um i hate people who get energized by doing stuff like mm-hmm. that well that's yeah. why i wanted to, i wanted to go see it before anybody else because mm-hmm. then there was no not going to be any twitter spoilers that's, right that's a downfall of working with dealing with lots of nerds in yeah. your day-to-day life <laughs> yeah and there's there's people making twitter accounts with like major yeah. spoilers spoilers in their names and stuff and yeah. i um, you know within, within the first 24 hours it was everywhere <laughs> we were having a tiny bit of a conversation with it on og and uh and i you know of course i hadn't seen it yet because you know by that point now i mean obviously that night i saw it but by the recording time i didn't and um i made one general conversation where matt of the group was the only one who had seen it of course and uh i said well you know and then i made some comment about black widow and he's he clearly in hindsight <laughs> he was not confirming he was not not confirming the thing i just said <laughs> yeah so i don't think we need to the the jump around any spoilers here because we already yeah. said we're gonna do uh do yeah, mention some spoilers well. so yeah. uh black widow dies um Tony yep. Stark dies, kind of blows. But also in the same respect, um, all the, all, all most of your faves all come back. Um, yeah, there is, the kind there's of a funny nod thing to is Natalie that... Portman in the credits, but I didn't see her any which way. Certainly, they didn't highlight her whatsoever. No, she's uh, like in the in the scenes where they go back to the Dark World um, movie, basically with Rocket and uh, and Thor, when they go back to um, Asgard in the past. To get the um, the stone, the Infinity Stone, right? Okay. The past. It's the ether. Uh, I mean, I only one. seen it once, so why didn't pick that detail up? Yeah. So you see, see her walking about. You see her uh, lying on the couch, and then uh, Rocket stealing the uh, the ether. It's actually pretty funny. Mm. Um. So you you get to see a lot of existing characters that you known through the whole thing if you're a real expert on all the movies um basically um black widow dies in the same way that uh zoe's sell Dallas character dies i can't think gamora. of her gamora yeah dies um same kind of thing you know soul for her soul um uh, though i mean that moment isn't really ruined for you because you know her <laughs> <laughs> she's fighting with someone of that last moment to to be the one to sacrifice herself. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, so, I would have been okay with uh, Hawkeye going, but hey. Yeah. Because um, uh, he's not really a good character. Yeah, it's an okay character. Um, and when we start the movie with him, you see that his life is, you know, he has a family. He's at least more completed as an individual um, up until the moment of you know Thanos snap yeah right? um I did like I did like the um we're jumping around a little bit but uh, I did mm-hmm. like the way that uh um Iron Man did his snap so he's stealing the stealing the gems and then uh you know haha <laughs> I got him I'm Iron Man Bloop. yeah yeah well the the only kind of moment there is that he hesitated a little too long for that like he was like pausing for Tension, but there is no tension. The, the whole movie is tension. So, um, I'm know. surprised I've only seen it once yet. I think what, I might me? go again tonight and go see it again. Oh, that you only saw it once. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. I mean, you know, whatever. Um, I, I will pre order it, I will buy it. I like the movie, I like basically all the franchise. Um, the, the, of the little that I saw of Captain Marvel. Um, I pre-ordered that movie before even Sunday, so on Amazon. So I will eventually watch that movie. But clearly, it's a good movie. Isn't it still um, in cinemas? Can you go, go watch it? I could, but I pre-saved it. So yeah. I'll, when it comes out, when it comes out, you know what I mean? Well, like, you didn't, you didn't miss much. I saw it twice because like, my brother clearly could do it, like one. One day, right. and then my, my colleague can only do it like the other day. I'm like, okay, I'll go, go watch it twice. Um, it, it, she she is basically a badass, right? Yeah, she's, she's basically the most powerful character besides Thanos. Right. Um, and 
she is basically kicking Thanos' ass at times. So yeah. if he um, if he wouldn't have had the Infinity Stones, he would have been like uh, steamrolled. Right. So she is on her own. Just that's it. She's the you know she's the badass. Hmm. Um, and she's the you know basically that's it. So she comes in to kind of help save at some point. Yeah. Um, you know, become the save of the moment of the war. Um, they uh, so the whole course of this is that they realize they can go back in time. Yeah. We're and we're really just ruining the plot for you at this point. But <laughs> you know, it's a fun experience. I mean, if you're still listening to this. Shame on you, man. If you haven't seen the movie and you don't want to hear this discussion, shame on you. Don't don't shame us for like so spoilers. They, so they basically killed we, Thanos in the yeah. first ten minutes. Like yeah, the they, first like Thor just loses his his cool and just yeah. chops his head off. <laughs> yep. And like, my <laughs> my whole thing is, all right. Well, that that's good. Then we're done. We can go home. We don't have to sit here for another three hours. Um, yeah. But with that whole thing is. Well, they did. They did what they were supposed to do, right? So they were. Hmm? They were the. They are the Avengers. So they. Right. They avenged everybody. So, then what happens is you start entering into the world after Thanos, after the destruction, and um, you know Thanos' thesis on this whole thing was eliminate half of all creatures, and the world will. Uh, the universe will heal itself again. And, well, then there's uh, enough resources, but it's kind of like right, wasting a lot of resources at the same itself. time, right? Yeah, yeah. And so what ends up happening is that didn't work out. Um, that's not how people work, right? Um, and, it, you know, while the world was stabilized, the universe was stabilized, everyone was incredibly unhappy. And they didn't go and uh, be energized and rebuild a new world. They just didn't do any of that. And so you now have the Avenger characters, their whole point of existence was fighting and being superheroes. And now they didn't have to do that. Anymore. Oh, they lost. Right. They lost. They're defeated. Half of their friends are gone. Those, everything is everything is that they loved is basically or half of it is gone. Um and they feel defeated, and the world feels defeated, the universe feels defeated, and that's we're we're just looking at the viewport of Earth. Yeah, it's basically uh, the first, the whole first hour is, you know, uh, is them being defeated, and then yep. they start, then they start, you know, then they, then somebody shows up, um, Ant Man, Ant Man and, pops out of the quantum yep. universe, <laughs> and then quantum um, realm. Well, then they skip forward like five years, right? Um, yeah. So and, yeah. And 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 uh, Tony, they try to get Tony Stark involved to get it done, and he doesn't want to do it. But then you know he does do because it. his life is stabilized, and he feels defeated, and he's just happy as it is. Yeah. Um, and um, and, they and so to... they they play on all the character dynamics that you know, right? They play on as we're talking about as we're going off on a tangent about Hulk. They did something interesting with Hulk. I like it. It's odd. It's creepy. Professor Hulk. But I like it. It's good. Yeah. Um, and it, it also provides closure with Hulk and Bruce Banner together all at once. Um, they they totally played on the one thing, you know, Thor, uh, Chris oh, Hemsworth, his whole thing is whatever he does in any movie, the problem is his typecasting is he's, he's you know, he's a hunk, right? Every woman is just like, fawning over every movie he's in he could be in a four-hour movie peeling potatoes and women will go see it like this is like a known element like brad pitt in anything right so they took that concept of knowing that this is a thing about him as an actor despite whether he's doing a good job as thor which he is and they twisted his character to be beer bloated and unhappy did the did, uh the theater you were in did they people laugh oh yeah for like a moment there was a chuckle yeah my my theater experience N was N noob master 69 um <laughs> my my theater experience was was a little irritating a little not not too much i mean you gotta keep in mind this is the end of the day and any reason to be cranky it's late um 
But there was, I don't know why it was, but our theater now is making you pick a seat when you get your ticket. Hmm. Um, so reserve seating. They do this for all the movies, especially with ones that are like like this, right? That are big. They know they're going to fill the whole Well, place. it's the first week, right? It's right. the first weekend. So, um, so I picked a row for me and my roommate and, you know, just enough so we're all collectively clustered together. And uh, I looked at the theater and, and, you know, this is nearly a 9.30 p.m., you know, showing. Um, and the theater was basically booked. We yeah. got in there. We sat down. We were a few minutes before everybody else. There was like not that many people. All of a sudden, a horde of people just come right in. It's like every school field trip or something made a stop to the movie theater with every single freaking teenager making every kind of like obnoxious noise and looking at their phones. And, you know, like that experience was kind of irritating. And then there was one kid right next to me. He was like. I don't know what was going on there, but he was really enthusiastic for this movie. So it was a little dis- <laughs> distracting. But he was he was the one who's like, oh, yeah, ooh, yeah, as he's like, he is feeding a trough of popcorn, endless amount of popcorn, crunch, crunch, you know, in the, my side well, of my ear. He was enjoying himself. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I, you know, it didn't piss me off or anything like that, but it was just like it was hard to not be – sort of detracted from, by, by <laughs> someone who was a really enthusiastic. So he was cultivating the whole room, even if the room was not vocal about it, right there to the left of me. So, um, so if, if so, the first, first hour yeah. was them being depressed, the second hour is them basically figuring out the, uh, the, whole, the, the whole scheme and plotting and doing right. the time heist, basically. And then the last hour is basically just, just fighting. Right. Lots and so, lots of fighting. It took so long. So because of the time heist, they have to go back and they recognize that, okay, so th- at this point, w- what's important to be informed is Thanos had destroyed the Infinity Stones and it basically killed him. He was weak by the time the Avengers got to him, which was easy for Thor to kill him because he was more, more, uh, he was more mortal than immortal at that point. Um, and he wasn't going to fight because he did what he thought he was going to do. Um, and you know, he, he basically kind of won the argument, but while at it, he also failed. Yeah. Um, so this brings in the, uh, the conduit for everyone to kind of go back in time to go back to where to steal the infinity stones. And then you're going to go, well, what about time paradoxes? Well, Bruce Banner kind of confuses the whole audience up to a point to to say, well, you know, this is not a time paradox. You create another reason for another reason. It goes off and rambles for (laughs) like 30 minutes. Not really. Well, and Um, and he has a conversation with um, um, what's her face? Uh, The bald, the bald. um, Oh, um, wizard. Yeah. Uh, He. Yeah, that's true for. um, that's basically so, uh, exposition as Doctor to... Strange, right? Yeah. Um, his, uh, his predecessor. Right, his predecessor, his senpai. Uh, I can't think of her character's name either. Uh, but well, she, the name you know, of the, the actor is uh, Tilda Swinton, but um, I don't remember the Sorcerer Supreme. I don't remember Supreme, her character's name. Whatever. Uh, it's a good movie. I haven't seen it in a, in a while. Uh, that detail is not on my mind. But um, he talks about the Time Master who is holding the corresponding Affinity Stone that deals with time. Um, and then they have to retru- return it because otherwise the, the universe will, uh, the, the timeline will fracture or something right. like that. Right. The advantage of, of stealing, doing a time heist to get your stones is that you can. If you control time, you can go back in time to put them all back before the moment you stole them or give them back uh, so that it doesn't affect the corresponding previous timelines that puts the whole universe back on the same tangent it was but is a part of the future's breaking of the timelines, right? Its future is part of its past, but there's also part of its existing going on future. So that's how they handle the paradox conversation piece. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there's something interesting about that. And I think the journey is good to go through and see how they steal. So the, the funny moments, Thor gets his closure with his mother that's already dead, but she's not dead when you go back in time. This is before she's dead. You know, the whole thing. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of good elements. They had a lot to do in three hours and they achieved all of it, I think. I'm just I'm just really bummed that there's not going to be any more Iron Man stuff. Now, we already knew this because there was not going to be any more Iron Man movies. But, you know, right. he was kind of like the 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 cue of the uh, the Marvel Universe. The, um, the anchor. Uh, the the guy that makes the the suits and the and the gadgets and the things right makes all that fun stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I think that's okay. Look, they're gonna reboot Iron Man and they're gonna reboot all the Avengers movies. Like I said, and you know the pattern is we've lived long enough. I've lived long enough that I see that basically they get the uh, idea in ten years that they should start doing that again. They start producing, putting it together in five years, and then between five and 20 years, they reboot everything, right? Yeah. Which is why we got three Hawk movies that were terrible and a bunch of Spider-Man movies that like have gone off the rails too many times. Um, though I hear the reboots are pretty good. I just can't get behind it anymore. You've lost my... Have you, have you not seen the Spider-Man image. movies, the new ones? I'm not seeing the Homecoming and all that. Oh. I saw the Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse stuff is good, but that runs should, on its own literal, go, literal parallel pocket. Go go watch the other Spider-Man movies. They're good. They're really good. Yeah. Um, They're better than the original ones that they did with uh, Tobey Maguire. Really? Yeah, much better. Yeah, okay. Um, I, uh, I, I'm not behind any of the, um, any of the side ca- So, so, okay. So here's the thing. All the characters that you see that, you know, that you love, that you're aware of from the Marvel MCU stuff, right? They're in this movie. Yeah. What's not in this movie is all your side elements that, um, I think, uh, Greg Clark is supposed to be in this. I didn't see him. Huh. But he's supposed to be in there somewhere. I didn't see him. But I, again, I was watching this movie to absorb the movie. I was not watching it to find out, um, you know, to see Stanley showing up four times. And I don't know if that's a legitimate thing. I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I didn't do that. That was not what I was going there for. It was not being a snooty nerd on the subject. That was not my goal. Um, so... You don't get your uh, Daredevil. You don't get your uh, Iron Fist. You don't get... Well, they're not um, going to show up because they're not Avengers. <laughs> right. But but also, there were lots of characters who were in non-Avenger movies who kind of came to the fight, the final fight, um, that had their own movies in the MCU, but were not necessarily Avenger in the Avenger troupe. Um so you don't get a lot of those. You don't get your Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. people. You don't have them. They don't show up. Well, they're not part of the MCU, right? Right. Even though uh, Phil Coulson is. He's a part of that yeah, MCU. Yeah, but he died in the MCU. Right. The, the whole, the whole yeah, part that they, in, they moved yeah, him on. But they brought him back and, in yeah, S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it never shows um, up. They, um, they did bring... Um, also, him showing, him, showing, him showing up would, been, would have been really bad because that would probably have pissed off um, Iron Man and, uh, and the well, other characters. So he's in, the, he's in like, I think the moments for the, the credits where they, they shine out all the, you know, the main actors, um, main elements for that, you know, even like Colby uh, Smothers. Um, I didn't, again, I didn't see her in the, in the sidelines of the heist anywhere. Um, but she, uh, but you know, they they gave her credit. Well, you know, she was she was there at the, at the funeral at the end. Oh, maybe okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I it, good movie. It covers a lot of things. We are not completely spoiling it. There's lots of great little moments, you know, with the hammer, <laughs> Captain America, <laughs> I knew and, it. and Thor. No, I you, the it. little one. <laughs> lots yeah. of little moments like that that are awesome. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of little moments I don't want to ruin for people. But again, I mean, if you're listening to this spoiler cast, 
um, at this point, you know, you know all these little moments. Like little things like that are great. Um, you know, the things at the very, very end, though, I was like, uh huh, yeah, 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 okay, I think I know what's going on here, and then it happened. You know, and so I was the, like, the, okay. The 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 whole thing where they have like all the women of of, of the Avengers doing their thing, right? They have the mm-hmm. whole sequence where, That's they, good. where they protect the the glove. And they yeah, uh, and chase I, after uh, after Spider Man. Yeah, and I, you know, so look, you got to take some note on this, and um, there is a contrast that's happening, definitely in the U.S. That's happening, that uh, has has opened up um, a a popular thing to do in Hollywood. And you think, well, that's because they're being supportive. Well, I don't know. Some of the people at the, the helm sometimes also see that they can profit from that, too. I don't think it's as nearly as... Uh, I think it could be uh, not the greatest of reason that they feel compelled to do this. But there are lots of, uh, you know, very specific gender power moments happening in a lot of media today. I'm okay with it. I'm all for it. Um but it seemed to be in a big abundance of it at that like one moment, which is still a absolute great moment. Don't get me wrong. I'm not belittling it whatsoever. But it's hard not to notice it based on because if if certain things weren't happening in the world in the last, let's say, five or ten years, um, would they have done that? And that's the kind of question you got to ask uh, if you if you want to make any kind of note about it. Um, my bet is probably not, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with what they're doing. I'm okay with it. Um, but yeah, no, it's a good moment, but it was hard not to notice that if it seemed to be like, here's a bell I'm ringing, I'm ringing a bell. (laughs) Pay attention to this. You got 30 seconds to look at this scene. Yeah. It was kind of weird that they just did it like, like in one sequence, right? It's Mm -hmm. just really annoying. Um, the, yeah, um, so I mean, if you were trying not to dance that out, you could just had a successive collage of montage, or they could um, have just had those characters in during the entire movie, right? Or doing like, the during, thing like, during the entire in a, battle. Yeah, in the succession, but then they had to celebrate the moment for a little bit. Well, the, the, they, the, maybe the, their sequence here was that they did this like for a bit. Right, they had a little yeah. focus moment for that, and I think it's good. I think it's. Um, I think it's fine. I'm okay st- with it. I still I think that those characters it. were underused. I would have liked to have seen more of um, uh, Pepper Potts says rescue. Mm-hmm. Yep. She comes, uh, she does the thing that, you know, Iron Man talks about. Tony Stark says, oh, she never does anything I built her. <laughs> and there she comes, uh, you know, to save the day. Um, you know, same same kind of corresponding um, moment of conversation we just had. About Captain Marvel, um, interesting, um, but again, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, not, I don't object at all. No. Um, but it's, it's interesting to see this is a, a forced change of something that would have never occurred previously. Um, so maybe that's a good, a good, um, a good progression. Mm. Yeah. I'm kind of sad about them not solving the problem with um, Black Widow and not having her come back. So, I, 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 under, I understand why they did this, but isn't she supposed to have like a separate movie? Yeah. So that was a comment that I made when we were I was having we were having a recording on OG, and I said, "Well, there's, it's like clearly she's not going to die because you know she's she's getting a movie unless unless it's a prequel." <laughs> And that's like, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, if it's going to be like, a prequel, oh. then I'm not going to watch it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to cover that. Maybe they... When I, when the movie I was done, and of course, we, before I went into the movie, I already knew that, that Tony Stark was going to die. I, By the end of the movie, I was kind of disappointed it actually happened. So I was like, yeah. It could, because, you know, Iron Man's my favorite character of the MCU. I love. He's like he was like the mechanic. I, he's the he's the guy that tinkers and and builds things. It's wonderful. I didn't know it, um, and there was a moment where he makes a side comment where he's like, some comment about like, well, 
once I start something, I never stop. And then when I saw, oh, he said he uh, was like, "Let's hope, let's hope uh, we don't die this time, right?" Right. <laughs> that would Whatever. be really so, nice. <laughs> right. So like, foreshadowing, yep. and then Doctor Strange stares right back at him, like, "Oh, okay, but how's this he going to do this it?" This is the one, the one and in the fourteen they, million. Yeah, and then they don't, they don't really show how he did it, how he stole the Infinity Stones. They do. They do. Because he he like uh, does a does a, a fake. Where he, he he tries to grab the the glove, but Thanos rips it back, and then he has it on his armor, because the 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 Stark tech is in his armor, and is in, on the glove. Oh, okay, so that was not because it's all Stark tech. It's all it's all all suits. Right. So um. So, anyhow, point being, um, yeah. Also, um, Howard Stark, the the guy, I recognized his face. I recognized his voice. I could not correlate the roster in my head where I know this guy from. And then I mm. realized, and it, I was fighting with it while I was having this thought while I was also watching the movie, which was he played uh, James Cromwell from the Star Trek movies. Does that make any sense? Don't know. Um, uh, James Cromwell is the name that comes to me, but he's the guy who, like, at least in in Star Trek, had invented warp technology. That was the same actor. Was that the same actor? Yeah, I believe so. No, Let's I see. don't think so. Um, um, who played? Uh... Uh, let's see. So, Endgame. My brain was gonna get there eventually. So, Howard Stark, right? I don't think he is the guy that, that played... Um, he, he sounds so familiar. Parker. He looks so familiar. And my brain was just sort of wrinkling, trying to figure out the connection there. Um, do, do you think he he, he played Zephyrin Cochran? In, um, Zephyrin Cochran. That's Cochran? Or I just said that wrong again. But yes, uh, I think so. No, 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 no. That's not the same guy. <laughs> he's not? Nope. Then I don't know what he's from, but he is so... Oh, John Slattery. What is he in? Oh, I know who he's... Ah, Man Man. That's it. Yeah. I didn't even I didn't even get that far. I just looked at his face again and go, Man Man. That's where yeah. I know him from. No, I haven't watched Mad Men, but... Uh, oh, okay. So that's where I know him from. But this is the, the actor who's been playing um, the Howard Stark for a bit now. Yeah, he, also did just, he just Man seemed too. so resident in my brain, and I just couldn't make that connection. So, um, okay, well, then I figured it out now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Zephyr from Cochran? No, no, yeah. no, 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 no um, can't be. Anyway, so I, th- I think um, I think it was an okay movie. I, I, I'm, I'm happy I watched it. I'm not happy with the ending. But you know you can't really. You're be unhappy happy with... not because Black Widow died. You're unhappy because Iron Man died. <laughs> yep. Tony Stark. Hey, look, we have our real life Tony Stark. His name is Elon Musk. That's about the closest as you're gonna get until they make Hollywood movies of him, and then they're just gonna pick the Tony Stark. Oh, well, he was already in Iron Man too, so. Yeah. It's <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah. Um. Yeah, uh, it's overall good movie. Go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. But if you haven't seen it yet and you're still listening, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, or unless you really just like want to hate on it and don't care. Um, <laughs> there's lots of little good moments. Uh, I think there is a bunch of character development that's really good. Um, we get a lot of character development for Hulk. We get um, some good, I think, healthy even though they're making a joke out of it, character development for Thor. Um, Captain America gets character development. No, he gets closure. Um, there is character development for Nebula. Is that her name? Uh, Karen yeah. Gillan's character. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I already forgot her name. Zoe Saldal's character. Gamora. Such a, Gilmore, yeah. Uh, Gilroy. Um, Gamora. Gamora. 
Okay. Got more. Um, and then um, we see uh, a grown uh, teenager group. <laughs> uh, Rocket doesn't get real any character development. Um, you know, there's some of the Guardians characters, side characters that are present. Um, they don't get a lot of time. Um, Gamora does. Nebula does. Um, yeah, so... What else? Uh, you see some characters from Black Panther. You get basically the other movies uh, collectively come to defend and help the war. Yeah. Uh, and it puts closure on their movies and their attributes from their movies uh, collectively have meaning at the end of this movie. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it puts closure on basically all the things. Um, obviously, you know Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson's going to have another movie. We'll see what happens from that. Yeah, I wonder um, how they're going to do that. Yeah. Because um, if it's going to be a prequel, I'm just not going to go watch it. Yeah, but, you know, like, even though she was a badass, we never really understood why she was a badass. That was really never, they never gave her her own movie. They never really justified her reason for presence other than that they interconnected her to have meaningful connection with Bruce Banner and you know some other characters but outside of that you looked at the group and you go everyone has a justified reason to be there except her and Hawkeye and, and, Hawkeye. <laughs> and uh, they never explored their thing. What do you think about the uh, the scene in uh, Japan, where um, where basically the Hawkeye just murders every everybody? Uh, I was like, I understood. You know, I, once I made the connection where they weren't showing his face for a while, I made the connection that's who it was. But then I was sort of like going back to. Is this like a parallel from something of like Doctor Doctor Strange, um, and uh, you know, and I just couldn't. I don't know. He was trying to avenge all evil people. Yeah, well, left all victims of all evil people. Right. Um, I don't know. I I, I whatever. And it just gave him a reason to be on screen and yeah. uh, for him to show that he was pissed off and that he was going to come to play as an Avenger. Um, but again, you know, I don't really know the comics, so I don't know his backstory. So I don't know why the same thing between him and, and Black Widow, again, aside from those minor connections, like what was important for them to always have so much, always be present? In the Avengers, well, maybe movies. if they, they they do the movie, then we can figure out what what the, sure. the hell was wrong with Budapest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so okay. you know, outside of that, I mean, good movie. Lots of little attributes to it. I think that are worth seeing. I think this is definitely probably is worth seeing a second time. I yeah. don't know what details I'll see on the second watch. Um, you know, I saw with Matt that that at this point would already been his second time that he had seen it however when i see him on sunday i'm curious what the number's gonna be <laughs> like eight <nine laughs> maybe half times. a dozen times yeah. for all i know with him so so um alan where can they find you uh you can find me on the internet <laughs> on the internet <laughs> on the internet it's your nickname i'm sitting on the top of it M- look at below master 69 yeah <laughs> Yeah. No, uh, you can find me on Twitter at uh, C-H-A-E-S-S. You can find me on Mastodon at uh, Alan at, G- yeah, at J-A-W-N-S dot club. Um, okay. Those are ways you can find me. Okay. You can find me on Twitter at uh, WebDeffie, W-E-B-D-V-V-I-E. For feedback, you can reach us at podcast at polymatic.media. Our music is by Say Uns, which you can find at polymatic.link slash E-K. Our Twitter is the Polymatic. Our website is Polymatic Media, and I hope you tune in next time. Meanwhile, my neighbors decided to do some banging on some things. Yeah, they seem to, they seem to only want to do renovations.
or play oh, the, the drums. This is, I think somebody's while well, we're uh, recording. Th- their uh, kitchen is right next to this room, so they uh, oh. seem to want to do uh, stuff with their kitchen. Are they are they defrosting a chicken or something? I don't know. <laughs> they need to pound it out. I don't know. <laughs> Crazy neighbor. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. By not saying what? <laughs> no, no. Um. So yeah, lots of uh, hardware fun. Yeah. So what else? Um. God damn it. I think we could power through it. Yeah. So uh, if everyone's listening, there's there's Morse code. They're saying John is help, awesome. Help, he, help. He, I'm being, he's, being held captive. He's recording right now. Other people should uh, listen to Polymatic Cast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to cut all of this.